So the next one, number two, is called the upper looper. It is the pink thread, okay? So a pink section here. Now, if you look at the diagram, you're going to see the lower looper, the green, tucked away. And then you have the upper looper, okay? So the reason why it shows it separated is because we had turned the wheel so that this is now on its own. Mm -hmm. You see how it's on its own? Yeah. So originally, it was like this. That's why. You would have never told what the heck is going on here. Uh -huh. So now you're going to keep it on its own and we're going to thread. So here we go. We're going to take the thread here. And again, same situation. Put it around here. And then this is where it matters. So you're going to go in. Okay. Up and over. In. Like so. Uh -huh. Then we're going to go here. So pink, pink, pink. And then you're going to go around, and then you're not going to forget to pull up, okay? And then you're going to put it around this little hook here, okay? Not so bad. So we're going to focus right over here. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to put it through the pink, okay? That's all I'm doing. And then the next pink one is here. See that? Okay, there it is. All right, and then the diagram shows it going up like this. That is that hook. So you're going to take this thread and put it through the hook oh see how it got caught mm -hmm. that's not good make sure okay it's good to reenact because you never know react okay so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna thread the upper looper see how easy that oh, is one, yeah. see how it gets easier so again lower looper a little hard but nothing you can't get used to mm -hmm. done